Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Last episode, we started at 77.7 in two missions, and Abigail left randomly. And here we are in Blackwater for the first time, and during the during the Red Dead 1 Let's Play, this place was very well built and very well off. At the moment, it's not. So let's go visit Dinosaur. No. Just gotta go like this. No. It's freaky. How do you even get in this place? No. no. Excuse me, sir. Can I can I help you? Yeah. I'm looking for Mr. Atherton. I'm a friend of Mr. Getty's over at Pronghorn Ranch. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Mr. Atherton is in his office. Hey, please. Hello, oh, sir. Thank you. I would like money. Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit so I can buy some property. What property? An old ranch, Beecher's Hope. <laughs> that old dump? I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Geddes. Uh -huh. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a run-down farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes? Really? Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently, they'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done and we'll fix up the paperwork. Uh, so, my first mission in Blackwater is to literally clear out the scum of Features Hope. <laughs> Actually, this gives me a lot of uh, recent memories of uh, Red Dead or Undead Nightmare. So I mean, this is what you spend the first couple missions on. Oh yeah, right here, this church. The thing I'm really curious about is the buffalo going to be here. In Red Dead One, also, there's a troop you kill every single buffalo in the street on the Great Plains. I'm not hey, dealing with one, man. I don't have money. I'm broke. He have charity at the moment. The Skinner Brothers? Wait. Hold up. Was that number six or was that number five? Wait. Oh, I gotta find the hideouts. I thought I had to find the gangs. Oh, no. I do have one of the games. I need one more. The only other game I can probably think of who it is is probably, uh... Either Mike has or Dutch's new gang. We do need to see Sadie, but I feel like we're a little bit safe. Th this is Beecher's Hope? Can I help you, friend? I hope so. Who's in charge here? No one, mister. This is a free country. <laughs> now that I ain't so sure about. Listen, I'm buying this land. I'm afraid... I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. 
knows this. I ain't sure. Some fancy Dan city boy says he owns this land. Or he's gonna. He owns it. That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. Get the hell out of here. This land belongs to me now. Ain't nothing on this earth belongs to no one, partner. Looks like you made your decision then, partner. <laughs> Wait, I only get negative rep? I didn't have a choice! They attacked me! They shot first! Why do I get punished for them screwing up? And I really just wonder. So you're telling me I had to go all the way over there to turn around and come right back. Not you, the man with two names and no past. Come on in. How'd you make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Okay. Well, I got your paperwork ready. Now, you sure about buying this place? It's really run down, and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. Okay. Well, sign here and here. Roll is. Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton, too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations. You are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> I'm choking. They own me. They just own your property. Now, you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. <laughs> I'm just joking. I like this guy's personality. He's very, um, real. Well... It is you. Well, I never. I, Uncle? I thought you was dead, boy. Dead. Uncle? The very same. Come here. <laughs> Wait. I, I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No, for real. <laughs> well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> Not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. No, not a problem. I'll come too. No, you don't have to. Oh, no, I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. It's a slow and painful death, my brother. Evidently. Oh, have a little pity, will you? Huh? Come on, then. All right. <laughs> uh... You're a good filly. Follow me. Dang it, Uncle. Oh, this explains why Uncle's at blue. In red, where, wait, where Uncle is in red anymore. West! West? Oh, ain't you a man of few words? I can see we're headed west. You know, speaking in monosyllables don't make you seem interesting. It makes you seem stupid. I don't care how I see. Well, now where west are we headed, you damn grunt and fool? This ranch, I... <laughs> A ranch I bought just now. Is that what you were doing in the bank? Spending all your money? Oh, I own a ranch in the armpit of West Elizabeth. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Not that that's any of your concern, but I was in the bank borrowing the money. Well, that's even worse. Yeah, you can run from a bounty, John. You can't run from a bank. 
Is Abigail there? No. She's, uh... Her and Jack are waiting until I'm set up before joining me out here. <laughs> you mean she left you? Oh, I never thought she was a smart woman, but, you know, this makes me think maybe I was wrong. <laughs> no more of that. I just bought this place. And you're lucky I'm showing it to you and not looking for a place to bury you out here. Okay. What do you think? Why exactly did you buy this dump? For Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we gonna farm here? <laughs> Rocks? We? You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the tiller. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No. You're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you. John. The rock farmer. <laughs> so, you think I'm an idiot? No. I know you're an idiot. Yeah. Thanks for me. We somehow kept on. Oh god, it's just like Red Dead 2 at 1! So welcome to Beecher's Hope! Question is, I have a couple questions, of course. So, is there? There is. Oh, 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 oh. All right. So the reason why I hesitated for a second. That's how you do it. I think. They probably wonder what the heck I'm talking about. I'm not mistaken. Can I go this way? I think we can do Horseman 9. Freaking t oh my god. It's possible. Okay, so let me explain what I'm talking Oh wait, I'm going the wrong way. I need to go north. And also I wonder if there's bears and cougars up here just like it wasn't Red Dead 1. I got me thinking. So what I'm doing right here is see it is at like I think the road connects up here. If it does, we can flat out do Oh, I need a horse. Stranger? Alright, so that uh, I feel like it is very possible to do Horseman 9. I don't know why I'm going to do Horseman 9. It's not going to be right now. So my plan is meet you guys somewhere in a second. Here's a city we haven't been in a long time. Welcome back to Valentine. 
I don't remember what if John how much trouble John got here at Valentine. Here we are, all in one piece too. That was great. We're here to see Sadie. Morning. I'm really glad she's still alive. And Stranger Mission. We're Morning. not doing Stranger Missions until Actually, probably unless I get the request for it, I don't think I need to do another Stranger Mission. you to leave it, Bubba. And I thought to myself, who this little girl thinks she telling anything to? Uh, enjoy your drink in peace. <laughs> I ain't got no business with you right now. What that mean? For the last time. Leave me alone. Or what? Ah! What was that? Get the hell out of here before she kills us all. You, you. Get out of here. On Marston. It is good to see you. <laughs> I thought I heard a rumor you was alive. Jim Milton, that you? Guess I didn't do a real good job of hiding my identity. <laughs> we didn't hear nothing about you. You, you killed feller up by Roanoke? I sure did. I thought that sounded like you and Abigail and Jack. She? She's fine. <laughs> She was always so kind to me. I'm looking to buy us a property. Beecher's Hope, west of Blackwater. I'm kind of a farmer now. <laughs> and you? Oh, you know how it is. Bounties mostly and some other stuff. Good and bad. Hey, you any interest in bounties? No, uh, I've gone straight. Huh? Sort of. <laughs> oh, it's legal. I'm usually. Then... Maybe. Come on then. Huh? What? Where are we headed? Strawberry. Come Never on. What? New York. Good price for him. What would he do? Rob a bank. With a gun? No. With a pan. He's an accountant, I think. Sounds I easy. Just came. Come on. We got a bit of a ride. I know. Morning. Uh. Your telegram. You said you had something to discuss. I didn't think we'd be chasing down an outlaw. There's something else. What? Micah. Micah? I think so. I heard of someone sounded like him uh, about a year back. Okay. We always said if we found him. I know what we said we'd do. That ain't changed. I didn't think I'd see any of you again after you left for the Yukon. Now we came back. Didn't strike it rich, as you can see. But you're a rancher now. I got Uncle with me. We'll be okay. Uncle? We're getting a scout by that gang out there might be preferable than living with him. Sometimes I think the same. Thank you. I'm like, oh god, I just came from Strawberry. Glitter, I went to Strawberry Stagecoach to visit her. And here we are. Telling you, like what I did, run. Micah will probably be the final person we kill. The games are very similar. I haven't figured that out. Never seen that. The cold shoot. What's it to be? Alright, see what you can find. Like I said, Feller's name is Nathan Kirk. Banker. Bald. 45. Okay. You hit up that way. I'll meet you in a bit. Say, I mean to meet my friend in town, but I don't know where he's staying. Bald New Yorker? Nathan Kirk? You know where he is? Afraid I don't know. Oh, the shot. Well, there is this alone we did do with the cards. Hey, I, I've been a real fool and forgot to ask my friend Nathan Kirk where he's staying. You got any idea? He's a bald feller from New York. I'm sorry, I don't know. You seen a... 
You seen a bald New Yorker? Name of Nathan Kirk, about 45? <sighs> no, sir. If we get plenty of New Yorkers here, it's resort town, you see. The Adirondacks of the West, huh. the mayor calls it. But <laughs> I can't remember any of the bastards. Okay. Ask in the general store or the post office. They tend to know who's in residence for the season, as we say. Season? Good lord. I think that was important, so, man. Hi there. Can I help you, partner? Yeah. Looking for a fella. Uh, New Yorker. Name of Nathan Kirk. Never heard of him. We get a lot of New Yorkers. It's a resort town, you see. I'm sure. Try in the Welcome Center. They tend to know most of the visitors there. Thank you. Gives you two dollars to my name. You, uh, you seen a fella? A fella from New York? Bald guy? Yeah. A few New Yorkers come here in search of the West. This one's a wanted man. I work for the government. Sort of. His name's Nathan Kirk. Mr. Kirk? But he's so charming. Is he staying here? He's, uh, up in room three. I'm gonna go pay him a visit. It's government business. How exciting. And, uh, what is with this camera angle that... Knock, knock. Mr. Kirk. Mr. Kirk, you in there? Who is it? It's just a friend. Just a friend. Come on, open the door. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Open the goddamn door. You know what? Kick Tom. Stop. Hey, that's Nathan Kirk. I don't know why, but we get the last. Oh, I already had the last. Oh, no. Door sucks. So hopefully, it's gonna work. Fun. I'm an innocent man, but it's all a mistake. My wife, my wife is a, is a desperate woman. How are you married, sir? None of your business what I am. She made me do it. She broke me. I did bad, but I'm not bad. There is a difference. What is wrong with you people? 
Where, where, where shall I send on? the money? I ain't been paid yet. Send it on my behalf to West Elizabeth Cooperative Bank in Blackwater. Pay down my loans. Might make them happy to see I've got a boss. No, <laughs> well, I've got a couple of other leads I could use your help with if you're interested. I'm usually at the saloon in Blackwater. I need money pretty bad, so I'll come find you. Huh, okay. 60? That's it? Uncle! Uh... Really don't want to see Uncle. Where are you going to oh, Seriously, where am I? There's a bounty poster. Hold on. Well, let's go back to Strawberry and do a bounty po mission because we still need to do a couple more of those. And you know, I could use the money. Oh, Sadie. Gosh, the fact that I have like zero money in person kind of. Wild, wild horses. The answer is actually yes, but also no. Well, baby. Come on, horse. Why are you so dumb? Alright, so we're gonna do a bounty mission and count it an episode. Because we still need, like, do two or three more of them. Because unfortunately, the one for, uh. That stranger mission didn't count. Ten dollar reward. Forty dollars. Okay. Well, well. Well. You want me to? Wanted a lot for forty. Word is he's made a whole out of an old mine up in the Big Valley Mountains. But you might want to leave that one on the wall. How are you? I'm guessing you want me to You're disarm you. Where am I going? Oh, this is the guy that we didn't do. We did. We secured the bounty mission. This is. It. There we go. I think this is the one that we accepted forever ago and just didn't do it. Seriously. I wonder how far e uh, west I can go. That's my biggest question. Come on. No point of standing around. This is the way we went to uh, take care of that one debt repaid that the guy ended up dying. We got to the legendary cougar with us. Oh, he wasn't really a legendary, was he? Oh god, I almost fell off. That would be hilarious with that. I need more, girl! Alright.
kind of sucks that I don't have like any like of my old herbs. How far I can get. Dinosaur bone? That is the first time we have seen a dinosaur bone. That wasn't looking for a dinosaur bone, I was looking for something that gives the horse to recover his stamina. Again, I'm kind of glad that I didn't do some of those because of John not having money. Because <laughs> that's what it wanted me to do anyway. Wait. Am I going to the same place where we saw the, uh... The cougar? It literally is! There's only one way out of here, and that's through me. Come easy. I'll say something to the law. <laughs> it ain't gonna be easy. You're gonna have to draw on me to get me out. You might have found me, but you won't beat me, bounty hunter. Oh, I actually did it! Ended up shooting the gun out of his hand. That's crazy. I actually did it correctly. You know what? I want your money. Mind if I change your pockets? I need money. John, will you please pick Come him up? On, we're going back to Strawberry. Ah. Kind of weird Let's that, like, I'll, he's literally in the same location okay. as you that cougar. You didn't even have a decency to do it right. You duel a man and you ought to put him down, not knock him out and tie him up. You got no decency, bounty hunter. Oh god, I have to go freaking all the way through this mountain trail. You wouldn't have got me in my younger days. I would have put one in the middle of your eyes before you even blinked. You ain't nothing special, and you ain't gonna stay sharp for very long. None of us do. Mm. Not wrong. That's Big Josh, all right. Hey, he looks heavy. Can we take that bounty off of you? 
I can manage him fine. Uh oh. About to be attacked, aren't I? What the hell? More damn bounty hunters. They're turning back. I guess I'm all yours. shot. A lot of these calves are just chilling here. Oh, apparently that was the quick way back. Could have done it to begin with. I wish you killed me back there. A real man would have killed me. You kind of regret not killing me. Here we are, strawberry. I hear the cells here are really comfortable. You trying to be winsome, bounty hunter? Always. I'm a regular charmer. Now come on. Got Brown here. Ah, Mr. Brown. Come on now. Make him comfortable downstairs. That was easy. Like. Forget about me. Good deal, my friend. Now, leave me to my peace. That was. Pays right here. You make you work for it? He dealt me. So, I'd say that's a yes. That's fine. Hey, uh, no more posters going up here for a while. Mayor don't like the way it looks. Fair enough, guys. Next one, Red Dead Redemption 2. Thing nice at like 81.1. More bounties to do. One more stranger. Few more missions. It looks like. What did I say? That? Uh, I think next time. We'll Crap.